Hey guys, what's going on? I'm back with another meta report today. I'll be showcasing you guys something that has lost a lot of popularity, but I feel in the next couple of weeks will gain a little bit more popularity back, which is Sandalur. But before that, make sure you guys remember to like, comment, and subscribe, as this really helps me out with the YouTube algorithm and it helps me spread the secret source around. Also, guys, be sure to join the Discord if you guys want to know the secret source even earlier and in general got any questions for me to answer team build wise or anything in general. We have a whole community of nice supportive people over there that will help out as well. And lastly, I stream on twitch.tv slash pbr5 every Friday at 8pm UK time where you can catch me live in the action or ask me any questions during that. Check the description for all the links below and also make sure to check out the Port of Force merch. And before I forget, we are also very very close to 2k subscribers guys. If you get that by the end of the year, I'll be doing a Nintendo eShop gift card giveaway or a steam giveaway uh, steam voucher giveaway uh, whatever you guys want uh, so make sure you share this video around and subscribe there's 92 percent video people watching my videos not subscribe guys just subscribe it helps me out so much and also guys we're doing a giveaway free stuff free <laughs> In early series, Chandler has been picked up as a great offensive statted mon and typing that bypasses fake out to set up Trick Room in prison, um, which completely negates Trick Room. However, people slowly figured out instead of trying to set up Trick Room, why don't we just double up into the Chandler as he's imprisoning as it only applies if he's on the board. So if we just kill it, then we can just set up Trick Room in the turn afterwards. Chandelier players then use this against people by immediately dynamaxing and dishing out a lot of damage. However, this caused Chandelier to be a very 50-50 or unreliable uh, Pokemon at stopping Trick Room. But now in Series 7, people are slowly picking back Chandelier because of how many people are running Sun Teams with a side dish of Trick Room. Chandelier can be led in both situations against Sun Teams versus Torkoal plus Venusaur. It has Flash Fire to raise Torkoal and it Oko's Venusaur with Max Flare. In the Trick Room lead of Dusclops plus Follow Me or Trick Room uh, plus uh, Dusclops plus Trick Room Sweeper, you can imprison Trick Room or Max Phantom plus follow up with your partner to Oko Dusclops in most cases, if, especially if it's a greedy Dusclops setup. I've been talking about greedy Dusclops setup in every single video so far. People just like to lead Dusclops alone. And when Dusclops is led alone, you should always have a thing that can freaking Oko it. <laughs> Chandler right now is typically ran with Focus Sash or Cassie Berry or Shuka Berry. More likely Shuka Berry at the moment or Focus Sash because there's a lot of ground type threats right now. With the ability Flash Fire, EVs of 20 HP, 116 defense, 252 special attack, and 116 speed with the modest nature. Moveset of Shadow Ball, Heat Wave, Trick Room, Slash Energy Ball, Protect, or Imprison as a last slot. A lot of people are opting for Protect over Imprison. And a lot of people are opting for more coverage over Trick Room as people expect Chandler to run Trick Room plus Imprison, leading them to, to not go for a trick, uh, trick Room setup on the first turn, uh, but instead trying to kill the Chandler. Having more coverage allows Chandler more capabilities to Oko or two hit KO the Trick Room setter instead of imprisoning the Trick Room. I opted for the best of both worlds, having Protect and Trick Room allows you to play conservatively and scout out for players in best of one situations. As a complete with Focus Sash, you most of the time can reverse tri Trick Room the turn after, as they'll need to double up in the Chandelure. This is where the extra bolt comes in handy instead of having just max speed and max attack. Overall, I believe Chandelure is a very underrated mod at the moment, especially it's the one stop answer to how most teams are built at the moment, whilst coupling up well with max airstreams to pick up knockouts very quickly. Uh, so you, for my team, I can lead Zapdos plus Chandelure and just snowball from there. It has a lot of great offensive capabilities and a lot of options that I think it warrants it to be on some teams, I think. But anyway, let's see our Chandelure boy in action. Okay, we are against Sun. Sun with Glacier at the back. Ah, uh, man. Man, I'm not even clicking buttons and my buttons are already leading me to Katana, but the Katana is pretty bad. Okay, okay. Against Sun, I think I worked it out. I think I go with Chandelier and I go with Grimmsnarl. For sure, for sure. This is what I do every single time, all the time. Um, okay. 
After that, <laughs> after that, what do we have? We have Boswell for. Why do I have Boswell? How is Boswell even that good? <laughs> Boswell and Katana at the back. Okay, let's go. Zapdos could be pretty decent here too. But here we go. Chandelier. Let's go. I think I worked it out. The, if he leads Sun, we go for Trick onto his Venusaur, Protect. In case of Earth Power and other stuff. Next, we Dynamax straight away. Okay, he goes for Dusclops Dragapult. Yo. This is actually so scary here, right? Right this moment. This moment is absolutely spooky. Um, I can't believe this is a moment. <laughs> I can't believe this is uh, this is a thing right here. Uh, I'm completely scared, guys. Like this is absolutely scary. Um. This is absolutely maniacal. Uh, I'm gonna go for a trick room, I think. You know what? I'm just gonna go for the damage. <laughs> this is what the Shadowlers built for, uh, for these um, trick room sun teams. So I might as well just use it against the trick room sun team. I never expected him to go for this uh, this mode though. Um, it's usually for the Venusaur uh, Toko, so you, you get flash fire and you can kind of survive that. And or and all for the Dusclops mode, where you can just trick the a uh, trick because it's usually a greedy Dusclops. It doesn't the Dusclops, the Trick Room setter is usually alone, right? So if the Trick Room setter is alone, right, that means uh, you can typically go for a trick and Max Phantasm onto the Dusclops, and that will kill it. But let's see if Shandler can do it this time round because this is a Shadow Sneak Dragapult. Um, Th this is gonna be very very spooky guys. Um, I'm not entirely sure. Oh my Jesus Christ. What the fudge is going on? The ally switch. Okay, I'll, I'll take whatever's on this dragon, okay? Actually, this might even be better to be honest with you. Um, That actually might have ended up better for me than I expected to be honest with you. Um, Okay, okay. I will take that because I might kill this Dragapult. Um, I just what? <laughs> e um, so that's the power of Chandelier. 145 base power special attack absolutely destroys anything. Um, okay. Anyway, next. What do we have? <laughs> okay, so Incineroar's out, so Ice Pony's probably at the back here. Uh, Ice Pony is probably at the back. All Torkoal's at the back. So what we do here is we completely destroy this Dusclops here. Uh, completely destroy. Completely destroy. There's no, uh, th there's no other way about this. We just completely destroy this trick, um, trick, and just uh, Phantasm again. Oh no. Okay, maybe this is, has a chance to carry, but we need we primarily need that. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. We we needed the extra the the extra juice, but you know it's fine because we we did what we needed to do already, which was kill the dra his Dynamax target and Chandler <laughs> did his job. <laughs> Completely destroyed the Dragapult. I'm kind of shocked by that. Like, um. Yeah, that that was shocking. That was very very shocking. Um anyway, enough of that. Um what do we go out into? I think we go out into Qatar. Oh. Well, both of them are pretty bad, but there is one that's slightly better. Okay, I'm really scared of this uh Scared of this ally switch here, so I'm just gonna go for the Stone Edge <laughs> uh, because I think that could occur right here, and I'm gonna go for a Spirit Break here. 
Because this should be enough to KO um, the Dusclops here. Yeah, okay. <laughs> That's why I didn't go for I didn't go for the the close combat. Being scared of being very very spooked of the potential ally switch. Okay, Spirit Ray comes through, which is nice. A little bit of chip damage. I think it will be enough for a close combat KO here. Flare Blitz comes through. I think we should be able to tank through this. It has a lot of physical... Oh god. Um, that was a lot. That was a lot of damage. Um, okay. And then we set up screens with our Grim Snarl here. Glacier comes out. And if by some chance that we survive um, whatever he does to us, then uh, we have a plus two. We have a plus two um, boss wall that should be able to deal with anything that he has. Um, okay, so this guy is probably on life orb here. So yeah, we just set up reflect here because we have not set that up just yet. And we go for the close combat. Kill the Incineroar, get rid of the threat of, for Katana, and now we have a good chance uh, with Katana at the back and Reflect up. And the, the, the Beast Boost adds up. So plus 2 will definitely kill the Glacier here. Heavy Slam comes out. Onto Boss Wall. Ho ho ho! Ho ho ho! <laughs> Hey Glacier, my name is Buzzwall. I just swallowed you. Even though this was a chandelier highlight completely. <laughs> this guy just got swallowed. <laughs> like that previous like that previous Glacier also got swallowed. <laughs> Man, this highlight's so good. It could be for Buzzwall, it could be for Chandelier, it could be for Grimmsnarl. What do I even put this on? You guys decide. Tell me what was the main Tell me what you guys thought was the main thing here. I think it was personally the Chandelier. The Chandelier did so much work. Um, although that ally switch came in, like, I would have been able to knock out the Dusclops. Oh no, we, I think we I think we made the correct choice of knocking out the dra Dragapult. Um, actually no, it depends. If, if he tricks him, then it's really bad. Uh, but if he tricks him, he definitely doesn't. <laughs> he, def he, he definitely doesn't. Um, go with the Dragapult Dynamax, but yeah, that was a really, really good game.